scientists have found the best place on Earth to see the stars. That, in a report and study finds. Now, when you look up at the night sky, which constellations can you make out? Do you see the Big Dipper? Can you see Orion's belt? <laughs> Heck, I can hardly see my belt. Anywho, counting stars is pretty difficult in areas with lots of light, like major cities, but most studies say that even in the clearest skies, you're still seeing turbulence in the atmosphere that makes stars twinkle. If you want a truly perfect view of outer space, an international research team has found the spot, but you'll need to bundle up. It's Antarctica, and you know, we could go in summertime. You know, summertime there is in the wintertime here. It's like only minus four. You know, it's stars aren't supposed to twinkle, and the turbulence causing the light coming from stars to bend as they reach the Earth is what causes the problem. That instability in the air gives stars their trademark twinkling effect. The location in Antarctica, however, has little turbulence, so it hardly interferes with the light from the stars, making the view extraordinarily clear. A Chinese-led research team built a system of telescopes on top of a plateau named Dome A. Well, <laughs> that's an original name. <laughs> I guess looking at the map here, right, that's what they name all the plateaus after letters. Well, it's about 4,000 feet above sea level. UNSW professor Michael Ashley said, quote, Dome A is the highest point in the central plateau region in Antarctica, and the atmosphere is extremely stable here, so much more than anywhere else on Earth. He went on to say the result is that the twinkling of the stars is greatly reduced and the star images are so much sharper and brighter. So why is Dome A so special? I never thought you'd ask. Dome A is flat for hundreds of miles in every direction, so not much turbulence is generated by the ground. The team also constructed an 8 meter high platform for telescopes, so it would be above the boundary layer of turbulence that usually stays close to the ice. This enables scientists to take super crisp images of the night sky. Scientists say it even has advantages over Hubble and James Webb telescopes because they can update their technology quickly, whereas many space-based telescopes are using tech that's already about 10 years behind what they have on the ground. One of the biggest advantages Dome's location has is that winter nights in Antarctica are very long. In fact, scientists will be able to track stars continuously since some nights in midwinter last for almost 24 hours. Ashley said, quote, Dome is a superb site for astronomical observations, and we should make every effort to participate in an international project to put a large telescope there to take advantage of the conditions. Now, you can check out more info on this and other studies by heading over to studyfinds.com just by clicking the link in the description below. Or you can click one of the hashtags in the description. You can see all kinds of study finds videos.